and they do nothing. They should be the influencer and you can literally go ahead and split the profits. That's like another little hack right there. What's going on fam? Eric Gellis here, CEO of WolfsAcademy.com, the Wolf of Marketing. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome to the channel from Bali, Indonesia. And if you are coming back, welcome back. Now, if you guys wanna know my number one recommendation to make money online, there will be a first link in the description. Grab access to that. Number two, if you guys want heat on a day to day, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys different ways to make money online. Go ahead and hit the subscribers button, hit that notification bell. Now let's get right into it. Basically on a day-to-day -day basis, people ask me, Eric, how do you make money online? Why? Because I'm currently traveling right now and I'm in Bali, Indonesia. All the time I come across people who are traveling and they're here for five days, 10 days, so on and so forth. Especially when people come over a house, they're like, how do you afford this? And then number two, when they ask me how long I'm staying, I'm like, okay, I'm here for a month. I was just in Medellin, Colombia for five months. Last year, I traveled 12 countries in eight months. And they say, what the hell do you do? I say, I work remotely. I work from my laptop. I can work from home. I can work from anywhere. So this isn't like a vacation or a holiday like they say depending on where you're at this is like just my lifestyle I'm like holy crap how do i do that so i decided you know what let me go ahead and actually show you guys not just the way that i make money but seven legitimate ways that you guys can use so that way you guys can start making money online and that way you can live a life of freedom whether you want to travel full-time like me whether you want to go and spend more time with your friends your family do the things you love making money online can set you free so that way you don't have to work saving away is some job but you can go and literally work remotely from anywhere all you need is a laptop and some Wi-Fi connection. So the first one that I have here is called Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA does take a capital investment. Basically what you're doing is you're tapping into the freaking beast of Amazon. And Amazon FBA means fulfillment by Amazon. This is a lucrative business model. If you have a couple thousand dollars to work with, and don't worry if you guys don't have any money to invest, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some options for that as well. But basically what you can do is you can go ahead and actually find a product that you wanna go to list on Amazon. You're gonna go ahead and purchase it. They're gonna go ahead and store it in their fulfillment center. And then when people actually, when you create an Amazon listing, when people make a purchase, they're gonna go ahead and actually fulfill your product. So all these things, if you've ever shopped on Amazon, chances are you're not buying directly from Amazon, you're buying some Somebody who has created a or, or bought a product, bought inventory, they're storing it at Amazon, and when you make a purchase, they fulfill it, and they're getting they're getting paid, right? They're getting paid for you to buy products from Amazon, and Amazon is fulfilling it. So that's one option. Another option is Shopify drop shipping. Now, basically, what that is is you're creating a store on Shopify, leveraging the Shopify website, their platform, and what you can do is you can sell products, right? Physical products. Now, basically, guys, this is where online shopping is going. E-commerce, right? People are getting shut down, malls are getting shut down, Walmarts are getting shut down, things are getting shut down because commerce is happening online, right? Have you ever been on Facebook, saw a sponsored post, made a purchase? You probably have, or on Instagram. My mom and my dad do it all the time, but instead of you creating the risk like Amazon FBA and actually making a purchase and storing inventory, that's the difference of Shopify. You don't have to store inventory. So let's just say you wanted to create a print-on-demand company, which is basically like a t-shirt company. You can literally go ahead and create a nice design, have them on t-shirts and then after somebody makes a purchase from your Shopify website yeah you're gonna have to learn advertising so on and so forth but as somebody makes a purchase you literally can have a fulfillment center print it on demand and then ship it off to your people same thing with if you guys just want to go ahead and find things off of Aliexpress you guys can find products that solve a problem and then get people in front of those actual products. And once you get people in front of those products with like paid advertisements, so on and so forth, then once they make a purchase, boom, then you're going to actually fulfill the, uh, fulfill the order. So you're going to be fulfilling the order instead of Amazon fulfilling the order. However, you don't have to hold any inventory. So people like that one. Another one is a social media agency. What do I mean by social media agency? Guys, everybody needs social media, right? Or everybody has social media. So you can literally go ahead and do free strategies like social media management. And guys, I believe, and this is a free method, guys, all you have to do is figure out how to find clients who need your services. So you can go ahead and literally find people who need to increase their social media awareness, they're, they get more customers, so on and so forth. They suck at social media, they're old people, but they have a brick and mortar business and they know that they need social media. You can be that person. You can literally go ahead and manage their social media for them for maybe like 500 to thousand dollars a month, depending on what type of product or service they're offering. Number two is, is you can literally go ahead and actually help them generate business. So you can really provide value to these people if you go ahead and within your social media strategy and the content you're creating 
is helping them generate more business or you can go to the advertisement side and literally create like a social media marketing agency to where you if you learn the skill set of paid advertisement or you've been doing paid advertisement and you want to go and actually find clients who can generate or benefit from more customers who can't right you can go ahead and be the middleman and literally be the person who drives more traffic to their offers help them generate more customers and get paid handsomely to do so right so that's another one another one is consulting so imagine literally just getting paid for your knowledge right so an example of consulting is I'm an expert within the field of affiliate marketing and I charge a thousand dollars an hour for my time right so literally if somebody wants me to help them go from a couple thousand dollars to six figures because I've done it I can teach people how to do it I can show them step by step what I did people are paying to save time so if let's just say I wanted to go ahead and learn how to build a franchise wouldn't it make more sense for me to pay McDonald's who has the perfect system and for them to just show me step by step what they did to get those results than to just figure it out myself? That's what people are gonna do. They're literally gonna, gonna go ahead and pay you for your knowledge and your expertise, which will compress the time for them to be successful within that specific industry. So if there's anything you're an expert in, like if you're an expert video gamer, if you're an expert in something, you can literally go learn consulting or find clients who are looking to speed up the process of success, help them with your knowledge, and then with your knowledge, you can go ahead and charge them either monthly or one-time consulting fees, so on and so forth. Now guys, at the end of the day, this video is not gonna be super long, so obviously you're gonna have to do your due diligence on these things, figure out which one makes the most sense for you, and then figure out how to go ahead and actually find the information and apply that information to get paid. But the whole goal, guys, is living a life of freedom, being able to travel, do what you love, and not slave away behind some job. And all of these are methods that you guys can use to actually do that. Another one is a freelancer. So becoming a freelancer. What is a freelancer? A freelancer, you could literally be working a job. You can be an independent freelancer, or you can be a freelancer working for somebody. That's basically finding clients, kind of, and doing your service. So uh, two good websites to become a freelancer is Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, or Upwork.com. You can literally find people who need graphic design, people who need photos edited, people who need Photoshop, people who need things uh, edited, things written, like anything that somebody would like to save time and not do it themselves. For example, I don't edit my own YouTube videos. If you're good at editing, you can literally edit videos for people and get paid, right? So I pay somebody to edit my videos. I pay people all the time to do different things that I don't wanna do as an entrepreneur to go in and save me time. So you can be that person who has a skill set and it'll allow you to travel. You can literally do, create people's websites, edit their photos, whatever, whatever. And once you're making a substantial amount of income, you can go ahead and work from anywhere, right? So that's pretty cool. And then another one is becoming an influencer. So an influencer is finding a niche that you wanna go ahead and build a following in. So for example, let's just say you created an Instagram quotes page around like entrepreneurship. And as you start to grow that following with that attention, you can sell that attention as advertising. So why do you think people build things like blogs, right? The reason why they build these blogs or build these like these media companies is because they sell that media, right? Times Square is a form of media. So on Times Square, they have all this attention in Times Square, they're selling that media, they're selling that attention, so that billboard space. The same thing, if you become an influencer, not only can you go ahead and partner with people, let's just say you decided to tra start traveling and become a travel influencer, you can literally like have people pay you to uh, travel to their places. Or if you became a food influencer, you can literally eat places for free and say, hey, I'll go ahead and post your thing on my page as long as you allow me to eat for free. You let me eat for free, I'll go ahead and give you guys an honest review on my influencer page, right? Another thing is you can just sell advertisement space. So if you created a huge weight loss page, people who have products that can teach people how to lose weight, you can go ahead and sell advertisement space on your page. You build a following and then you monetize that following. That's basically what an influencer is. Now, a lot of these influencers don't even know how to monetize their following. So that, for an example, could be a social media agency. You can go ahead and literally find influencers who don't know how to monetize their following. If you learn how to monetize, monetize the following, you can partner with them. You can create all the marketing and sales materials and they do nothing. They should be the influencer and you can literally go ahead and split the profits. That's like another little hack right there. And the last but not least, one of my favorites is affiliate marketing. So with affiliate marketing, you're literally just uh, being paid to be the professional middleman. So you're literally connecting a person who has a problem and a product that solves that problem, connect the two together. When a transaction is made, you get paid a commission. So that's how I've been able to pay for this villa. That's how I've been able to travel the world. I simply just refer other people's products. So 
basically, if you guys, uh, ways you guys can become an affiliate is again, building a following around a specific niche, and then you guys can monetize that following with affiliate products. So for example, you guys can build a blog, and as you start building a, a, a blog around a specific niche, then you guys can refer uh, products within that niche on your blog or a YouTube channel. That's how I made so much money on YouTube. I made my first six figures on YouTube because I create content around making money online and then I refer making money online products, right? So guys, there's so many ways, there's so many more ways to make money online, but guys, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. If you wanna live life on your own terms, if you wanna be your own boss, if you want to live a life of freedom, instead of slaving away behind some job, you just have to get started. Pick one, which one is the most that you can relate to the most? Which one is congruent with your personality trait? Are you the type of person where you're scared of consulting because you don't like to talk to people? Okay, become an affiliate, literally hide behind the camera like me, create content and refer products, right? There's so many ways to do it. Pick one of those seven, figure out, here's my call to action, you pick one of those seven, figure out which one makes, makes the most sense to you, and then take freaking action. And again, if you guys wanna know what I've done to make six figures online, again, it's called affiliate marketing. And if you guys want more information on the products that I'm using and how to make thousand dollar commissions, so on and so forth, you wanna know my number one recommendation to make money online, you can click the first link in the description and you can have me as a mentor. But hopefully you guys gain value for that. Please hit the like button because it does help with the algorithm. Drop a comment down below. If you have anything you guys can bring to the table, just drop a comment if you liked this video, if you didn't like this video, so on and so forth. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm showing you guys my lifestyle as far as traveling and the type of lifestyle that I live. And I post almost daily on my Instagram. Follow me at Eric Ellis Jr. You won't regret it. Click the link down below if you guys wanna know my number one recommendation, make money online. And with that being said, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna enjoy my body lifestyle. The Wolf of Marketing, as always, Eric Ellis Jr. checking out. All my dogs beast, all my mobs deep Get in your bag, get in your bag, ain't no lost street Ain't no smoke, it's choke, we want all the heat We want all the heat, we want all the heat